Alrighty, this is a continuation of the Contact Us um, Part 1. Um, so this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D again, and we are continuing our actual last process, which was after we created the contact.html form, how do we actually send an email? So we have our name, our text, and our email that we want to use for the sending part. Now PHP has a built-in mail method. And the perimeters for this, so I'm just going to write a little nice comment here, is the two. So it's two, and then the comma, and then your subject, comma. And then your message, comma. And any other, the last one is the headers, which is either you can send a from or a cc or whatever, so it's headers. All right, so now that we understand the basic four perimeters for this actual function, we are going to start to input them. Um, so for the two, this is going to be our your own email. So in my case, jm at gorilla3d.com will actually send this to my email account at jm.gorilla3d.com. And the subject is the title of the email. So let's say basic inquiry. And the message will actually be the text that they supplied to us. Now, I, I want to have a reply to, so when I read my email and I want to reply to them, I can just click reply and it'll send me that. So, um, well, what I'm going to do is the actual, um, the header parts. And this isn't so much as throwing a simple reply to, it's some format that you have to apply to. Um, so the from is what I am going to use and it's the greater than and less than sign and inside of this we are going to use catenation so you can see I use the single quotes here to end and start stuff and in between the from I am going to have the, the name of the person um, Actually, it's not the name, it's the, the email. And um, outside the, um, the greater than less than will actually be the name. So again, single quotes and periods to concatenate our string here. So name. You see, it kind of looks kind of funky as in what the heck am I even doing? But you um, get the ideas we did this a bit more simpler, but I'll just leave that alone for now. So now I have my basic inquiry at jm.gorilla3d.com. This is basic inquiry, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this, as well as get my email open so I can actually show you the progress. All right, I have my awesome, amazing email open here using the squirrel mail system. And let's go ahead and go back here. And let's continue back to step one. So my name is Billy Bob, my email is bob at billy.com and my inquiry is I want cheese. I go ahead and send this. Now there isn't really any information here but it should send us an email. So if I go ahead and check email, it gives me an inbox and it says it's from Billy Bob and my subject was basic inquiry and it says I want cheese. Um, so again, it says Billy Bob here, and the actual email with this greater than less than sign. So it gives you a little example of what the from look like. Um, and that is really it. Now the next thing is we actually want to progress them to our thank you page. The reason why I split this up is because you usually don't want to have this on the same page. So just in case I hit refresh, um, it's not sending you emails repeatedly. So after we've done the mail function, we're going to use the header. This will allow us to redirect our user from PHP onto our step3.html. So we're going to say location and step3.html. Now if we go ahead and go to our step3.html, just go ahead and throw in some random stuff here. I say thank you for Thank you for your inquiry. 
I shall respond in two hours. And that is it. So we have step one HTML is our basic form and HTML stuff. Step two is our PHP. As you can see, it's massive and really complex. Not really. It's really simple. And then our lastly, our step three is just thanking them for sending it. All right, so now if we go ahead and go back here and we hit send you inquiry again, it sends us to step three and skip step two. This is really good for two things. One is that they really, they're a bit of a noob. They really don't know what happened other than it got sent. No, it, it kind of helps you from people that want to like mess with you and send you massive amounts of email using refresh. And also if they hit back, you, they get thrown back to uh, step one and if they hit forward it goes to step three so kind of saves you some trouble there and that is pretty much it we can go ahead and check our inbox one more time and we got another email here and it's i want cheese again so that is the basics of creating a contact us form in php and html i hope you enjoyed the screencast and leave comments and subscribe i also have the source code available on the left side if you're using the youtube version